From here, so we have this grand round now. We have five presentations, and uh, Subin is beginning with uh, Biba surgery in thin walled vessels. Please go ahead, Subin. Okay. Thank you, Yuha. Thank you, uh, John. So today my topic is how to do bypass on extremely thin wall vessels. Uh, this is a real challenging thing. Uh, but, uh, you know, just like my friend, uh, Professor Luca Wrigley said that the easy job is boring. Bruce Lee said, don't pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. So uh, to do a bypass on um, extremely thin wall uh, is a very tough uh, task. And the wall of the blood vessel is uh, easily torn by needle or thread. Even the needle hole can cause bleeding. Have to be very precise in threading a needle. There should be no tension between donor and the recipient vessel walls. No kinking of the suture. And uh, sometimes we have to use some tissue to help. Uh, we can use arachnoid membrane, fat, or facial. Uh, gel form is very helpful uh, in hemostasis. And uh, sometimes we should give it time. So this is a very thin wall you can see It couldn't be the vessel wall, especially the uh, recipient artery. Actually, it uh, couldn't be seen very clearly under the microscope, even in the largest zoom. And you can see uh, through the two layers of the recipient vessel wall, you can see the uh, temporal clips blade very clearly because the vessel wall is almost transparent. So actually the uh, donor artery uh, wall is also thin. So when you pull the thread, there should be no kink on the thread. And very carefully to avoid any tension between the donor and the recipient of vessel walls. When you make the stitch, actually you should be make the stitch in situ, which uh, means there's no movement and keeps the position at the same location.
So the nestmosing is as usual. Just pay more attention when you make the stitch. And uh, if you are not sure about, there's no tear on the vessel wall, you can leave to the another future tear. So this is may be helpful in So you can see threading the needle should be very careful. When you're making the knot, you should always keep the position to make sure that there's no tension between the thread and the vessel wall. So one side is finished, then the another side. So it looks all good, but the most difficult time is yet to come. So before we remove the temporal clip, we should check the stoma. It looks all good. Then we try to remove the distal temporal clip. You can see all the needle holes are bleeding.
through here, you can see the, the blade of the tem temporal clip. You can see how thin is the vessel wall, the, the recipient vessel wall. So check the stoma again. You can see a very small hole. The recipient vessel wall was a tiered a small hole. And I need an additional pedal to fix it. So other location is uh, all good. So I cut off all the suture tears. Then use a small piece of fat tissue. To bind the outside of the small hole. Then try to move, remove the distal clip again. It's still bleeding a lot. But I already pretty sure there's no big holes, only little holes is bleeding. So just to give it times and the new need a gel form. This is a, a mini clip. So it's already in the uh, biggest zone. So try to remove the distal clip. Check the vessel wall again and uh, irrigate it with the uh, saline. Mm -hmm. 
So give it time. So the blood rate need time to form the, to get the hemostasis. Rings with setting and then You can see there's no big bleeding on the recipient of wall, just from the needle hole. Now the bleeding is controlled then remove the, the proximal temporal clip. Then remove the Temporal clip on the donor artery. Because the pressure is increased a lot, so you can see there's some small bleeding on the side branch of the donor artery. So use a small power bipolar to calculate the small bleedings from the side of branch. Now the bleeding was all stopped, then cut off the suture tears. And the wind, uh, remove all the gel forms, then you can see the Reading was stopped. So the pressure 
in the donor artery was quite high. You can see the, the donor artery was standard on the recipient artery. So this is a very extremely thin wall. You can hardly see the recipient vessel wall. It's all red under the microscope. Now you can see the pulse of the donor artery very well. So sometimes we need to make a patch, uh, tie up like a lotus root. This is a root of lotus. You can see I found the, some fat tissue on the on some small uh, holes uh, of the needle holes, so it can be very helpful in hemostasis. So the final result was quite good. You can see after half a uh, uh, half a year, the follow up DSA should. Uh, Almost uh, all the hemisphere was uh, feeded by the uh, ECA branches. So how to manage the frustrating uh, things? You should know yourself and your enemy. Then you will never be defeated. Thank you. That's all today. Thank you, Xubin. It was really exciting to follow your fighting and struggle. So you have to use all the tricks and you have to be very patient to manage yeah. and smallest error in the movements will destroy everything. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I Is it common? Thing. Is it common to have that kind of thin wall? Recipient is it very common? No, not not very common. But uh, uh, sometimes uh, you, uh, when you cut the uh, vessel wall of the recipient artery, actually you have no no way. Uh, only can go forward and uh, finish the stoma. You shouldn't go back. <laughs> So the audience has certainly some mm -hmm. questions, comments. I have one. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, hi, hi. Well, hi. Welcome, Ming. Hi. Yeah. I, hi, Professor C. I want to ask you one question about how many cases like uh, with the thing blood vessel you did before? Oh, this, this is uh, quite common in uh, Moya, Moya vessels. A lot um, of... I this. know you, you have... Mm -hmm. Okay. In Moya Moya, this is uh, quite common, yeah. Yeah. But uh, this is uh, like this one, maybe only 1%. Uh, this is uh, okay. a very, very difficult one. Yeah. Could you hear that okay, Ming? 